So I'm going to show you how you can set up a transmitter and receiver using Smart Scan to scan the frequencies, select the best possible frequency, and then transfer those settings into the transmitter. Obviously, we're scanning with the receiver because it's the receiver that's listening. It's going to go through the airwaves and see how populated they are and find the best signal that we, that we can find. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we're going to go on our receiver. We're going to press the menu button and we're going to take us to Smart Tune. That's what we're looking for. We're going to hit select. And there we have an initial selection of the actual channels within our bands. There are three channels in this. This is a B1 system. So we have the channels 21, 22, and 23. B1 comprises 21, 22, and 23. And so we can either select one of those or we can take the B1 full frequency range. But you'll notice there's also a B1NA and a 23NA. NA stands for North America. And there's a very good reason for this. First of all, in America, we would use the B1 range and we would use the NA setting. The reason is because there are certain frequencies within B1 which it is illegal to transmit on in the United States. So if I buy a transmitter, an LT transmitter, that is designed for American use, those frequencies will be blocked out. If I am trying to scan a frequency, an open frequency, and I do not have this set on NA, and it finds one that's not a North American uh, certified frequency, then when I try to synchronize this, the transmitter will not sync to it. And we, I might think I have a problem. So for using a North American transmitter, we must always pick an NA setting. So our options are B1, which is what I generally use, or if I'm in Europe, channel 23, because that has all the legal frequencies for Europe in it. So I'm going to go to B1 NA, and I'm going to pick, it's just going to cycle through. There we are, B1 NA, and I'm going to select it. The next page is it's going to start searching. It's automatically searching through the airwaves right now. We can see that scan taking place in real time. And it's going to take a few minutes, uh, barely a few minutes, a few seconds actually, to go through. And we can see areas of population in the airwaves across that, those frequency bands. It's scanning 75 megahertz. So it's taking a, a little bit of time, but within that 75 megahertz, it's going to pick the best open frequency. And at the end of the scan, which we will see, it will have selected. There you are. It's found its frequency and it immediately goes to the IR sync page. This allows me to synchronize that frequency onto this transmitter. That is done with a sensor. There is a transmission infrared sensor on the back side of this receiver. And there's a receiving sensor on the front of the transmitter. All I do is position it to the back and press the button marked press. I'm going to press this. It's going to transmit information. And as soon as it's done so, it takes a few seconds, I'm going to see two things happen. It says, OK, on there, this blue light lights up. This blue light says that there's now a connection. This is tuned to that frequency. If I back out now to the home page, we can see that conical representation of the RF frequency, and we can see the blue light lit up. That is it. It's as simple as that. It is recommended that this be done in every venue at the beginning of your sound check and making sure when everyone's equipment is turned on so that you can find a, a, an open frequency without any concern for somebody turning on a, transmit, a transmitter afterwards. Um, but it's as simple as that. We're now set. We're ready for our sound check.